nothing connected to its base, and the collector and emitter reversed. It seems strange, doesn't it? And you wouldn't expect anything to work. But it does. That's because of a thing called reverse avalanche mode. Connect just the collector and emitter, and you have an LED flasher, and, as we'll find out later, an audio oscillator. There's just four components, a BC548 transistor, an ordinary LED, a capacitor, large in value, this one is 2200 microfarads, and a resistor, 1K. The power supply is also unusual. In reverse avalanche mode, transistors need a higher than usual voltage. In this case, 18 volts. It doesn't work with 9 though some experimenters have been able to get this to work at 12 volts. This is the circuit, none of the parts are particularly critical, though if you go too low a value in the resistor, then it will stop flashing. And with the 1000 microfarad shown here, if you go to a higher value, like the 2200 I mentioned before, then it will be slightly slower in flashing, and if you go to a lower value, then it will flash quicker. The voltage is critical. It won't work on 9 volts, so I used two 9 volt batteries to give 18. If you want a flashing light using the absolute minimum of components, then this reverse avalanche mode light flasher might be right for you. Shortcomings include the high voltage necessary, the large value of electrolytic capacitor needed, and that not all transistors may work reliably in reverse avalanche mode. Still, it's an interesting circuit novelty, and if you've got a few parts and a few minutes, I recommend you experiment with it. Next thing is I've ripped out the LED and substituted an 8 ohm speaker. As you can hear, it works, a bit like a metronome. Take out the big capacitor and put in a smaller one, only 10 microfarad, and we get audio. Now if you slightly moisten your finger and connect it between the base and the collector, you get a shift in tone. And with one microfarad in series with a 10 microfarad, it's even higher. And this is the circuit. 1K resistor, 10 microfarad capacitor, NPN transistor, connected the wrong way, a speaker, and 18 volts worth of batteries. Look up reverse avalanche mode or negative resistance for more information on these simple but intriguing circuits.